to rebuild a offshore platform, we need a construction vehicle, 100 construction materials for the oil rig itself, 100 basic materials to rebuild the crane that is on the oil rig, and a barge to bring it because an offshore platform is, well, offshore. So we start with making a CV. A CV can be built near a town hall, a relic base or a, a border base. To build one, we make sure that we have a hundred basic materials. So we go open up the inventory of our truck, grab a hundred basic materials, press B to open the build menu, go to the base category, select the construction vehicle. And with a right mouse button, we can change the orientation. With the left mouse button, we put the blueprint down and we then hold down the left mouse button to hammer in the basic materials. With CV build, we equip our uh, diesel and we hold down the uh, left mouse button to uh, refuel our uh, diesel for a bit. We then grab a diesel to fuel our barge. We grab a hundred basic materials for the crane. We grab a hundred construction materials for the oil extractor and we grab a hundred and fifty basic materials to make a barge. We put them into the CV and with that in the CV, we press Q to hop into the driver's seat of the CV. We press M to open the map. And if we press spacebar, we center the map on us. We go to a shipyard and there we can build the barge. When we are near the shipyard, we press Q to hop out of the CV. We grab 150 basic materials. We come to the building at the shipyard, press E to open it up. And in the production panel, we select the aqua tipper. We run up to the blueprint and we start hammering in the basic materials. With the barge rebuild, we come to the CV again and we grab a diesel out of the CV. We equip a one jerry can of diesel. Press three to pull it out. Aim towards the barge and hold down the uh, left mouse button, which will start refueling the barge. And we drive our CV up the ramp of the barge. When we are on the barge, we press Q to hop out of the driver's seat and we come to the driver's seat of the barge. As we can see in the bottom left, it says press Q to embark driver's position. We press Q and in the bottom left, we can see that it says press F to undock. So if we press F, that will pull in the ramp and we're good to go. Now, bear in mind that the barge always, in a sense, is built backwards. So the back of the barge is that way and the front of the barge is that way. So to get out of the shipyard, we press S. We bring the barge with the CV towards the offshore platform. We can see that the offshore platform has a ramps on either side that we can use to drive our CV up. So we line up our barge with the on ramps on the uh, offshore platform. We press F to deploy the ramp of the barge. We press Q to hop out of the barge, hop into the CV and we make sure that we are in the driver's seat and we drive our CV up the offshore platform. When we are on the offshore platform, we press F to go into upgrade mode. And if we aim at the oil extractor over here, we can press E to start rebuilding it. This will make it a blueprint. And we can then hold down the left mouse button to hammer in the 100 construction materials. With the offshore platform rebuild, we can see that the oil extractor starts to work on its own. So if we press E to open its menu, in the production panel, we can see that there are two recipes. The first recipe is making heavy oil without any input. And the second recipe requires 100 coal in order to make one enriched oil. So if we try to turn that on, we can see that it's not working and that is not because we don't have any power. This doesn't need power. It is because we don't have any coal. So we need to bring coal to the offshore platform and then we can produce enriched oil. We turn it back for now to a heavy oil production. If we escape out, we can see that there is a loading dock over here. We can use that loading dock in combination with the crane to put containers of coal so that we can put that into the inventory to make the enriched oil. And we can also use it to put fuel containers here to extract the enriched oil and the heavy oil. To rebuild the crane on the platform, we hop into our CV again. We turn towards the crane. We press F to go into upgrade mode. And when we are aimed at it, we can see the text here. We press E to rebuild it. That will make it into a blueprint. We drive up to it and we hammer in a hundred 
basic materials. Now that the crane is rebuilt, if we come to the crane, we can see that we can use it without any power. To transport the coal in our resource container and the fuel container to the offshore platform, we build ourselves a freighter. To build a freighter, we press M to open the map and we go to a shipyard. If we press E to open the shipyard and we hover over the second icon in the production menu, we can see that the freighter will cost us 150 times 5 basic materials. This means that a freighter will cost us in total 750 basic materials, but that we will hammer in five basic materials per hammer stroke. So if we grab a basic materials and we put them into our inventory, we left click on the iron ship, we walk up to the blueprint and we hold down our left mouse button. We can see that we are hammering in five basic materials at a hammer stroke. When the freighter is done, we can see if we come close to it, when we press E to open the inventory in the fuel status panel, that there is a, a tiny bit of diesel already in the fuel tank of the iron ship. We put our basic materials into the shipyard. We grab some fuel from the boxes over here. We equip a one jerry can into our third slot. We press a three to equip it. And when we are close to the freighter, we can hold down the uh, left mouse button to refuel the freighter. And we can see that the freighter at maximum holds 300 liters of diesel in its fuel tank. To enter the driver's seat of the freighter, we can see in the bottom left right now, it says press Q to embark passenger position. The freighter has a two position. So if we press shift Q, we get the embark drop down and we can select driver and clicking on driver will put us into the driver's seat. In the bottom left, we can say that it says press F to deploy. And what this accomplishes is it will open up the doors to the freight area. So if we press F, we can see that that opens up the freight area and we can hoist in the shippables into the freighter. If we press F again, it will close the doors again. So to bring coal to the offshore platform, we bring a, a resource container full of coal. We hop into the crane over here and hoist off the container of coal. We can put it into our freighter. And remember, freighters are first in, first out. So if we put in the container of coal first and then put in uh, liquid containers, when we are at the offshore platform, we will pull out the container with the coal first and submit that, and then we can pull out the liquid containers. So we press E to open the C port. And in the C port, we go to our personal stockpile. And in our personal stockpile, we can see that we have a two liquid containers. So I pull out one liquid container. I say package loading area equipment. Right click on the liquid container, left click to hoist it up and then put it inside the freighter. So we can use that for the heavy oil and we pull out another liquid container for the enriched oil. With our coal and our liquid containers in our freighter, we come to the freighter over here, press shift Q to open the embark drop down menu, select the driver's seat. We press F to open our loading doors and we take off for the offshore platform. We take our freighter with the containers to the offshore platform. We make sure that we are near the on ramp. And when we are near the on ramp, we press F to deploy our freighter, which will open up our loading doors. We press a Q to hop out of our freighter. And if we press E to open the menu of our freighter, we can see that the order in which we loaded our containers was the resource container with coal first and then two empty liquid containers. And that is also how we are going to pull them out of the freighter. So we come to the crane over here. We press a Q to hop in and we hold down the right mouse button and we aim over the freighter. We left click to hoist up the container. We aim at the loading dock of the offshore platform. We left click to put down the container. As soon as we do that, that will open up the menu of the offshore platform. In the bottom left, we can see the inventory of our resource container. So we can right click on the call there and say submit all to stockpile 
offshore platform. That will put 5,000 coal into the stockpile of the offshore platform. Now that we have coal, we can change the production from heavy oil to enriched oil. We do that by simply clicking on the button behind the enriched oil. So we click and we can see that we will start turning 100 coal into one enriched oil. If we press M to open the map, we can see that the oil rig after we rebuild it has a, a blue color, meaning that it has been rebuilt by the wardens. If it is producing and we hover over the icon, we can see what is in its inventory. So we can see that there is coal there, that there is heavy oil and that there is enriched oil. We take away our resource container simply by uh, left clicking on the package loading area equipment. We hoist it up. We put the resource container back in the freighter and we pull out one fuel container. We aim at the loading dock of the offshore platform. We left click to put it down and as soon as our liquid container is on the platform, we can see that it opens up the menu of the offshore platform. Now we can easily retrieve the heavy oil by a shift left clicking on the heavy oil in the stockpile and that will assemble three cans at a time into our liquid container. With our liquid container filled, we come to the actions panel, click package loading area equipment. When it is packaged, we right click to aim at the liquid container, left click to hoist it up and we aim at the, when we see the connection icon, we left click to drop it down. And the next in a line is the other liquid container. We pull out the uh, last empty liquid container, put it on the uh, loading dock. And when it opens up the menu, we can pull out the enriched oil simply by shift left clicking on the enriched oil and that will pull it into the liquid container.